News of a winter storm often means taking a trip to the store. So I've been uh, preparing homes all day for potential freezing. And he's not the only one. Those at Rooster Home and Hardware are helping shoppers prepare for everything winter. Faucet covers, pipe insulation, firewood, um, kerosene, chicken feed, tarps. Assistant manager Laura Winters says one of their biggest challenges is keeping those items in stock. This is just the beginning of winter, you know, so who knows if we're going to have another winter storm. There's a definite sense of urgency among shoppers. Some told us they were stressed out and had anxiety about protecting their homes from the cold weather. Oh, everyone, everyone's freaking out about it. They're super worried about their pipes bursting or the power going off. And so, you know, the least we can do is have. And with multiple days of below freezing temps, the state's power grid is under close watch. The deadly winter storm of 2021 will hit its two year anniversary next month. Millions across the state lost power and nearly 250 people died. Both Governor Greg Abbott and ERCOT reassuring Texans that this time the power grid will hold up. We feel very good uh, about uh, the status of the Texas power grid and ERCOT to, to be able to uh, effectively and successfully uh, ensure that the power is going to stay on. Meanwhile, some North Texans are planning to use natural heat and stop by Burn This Firewood on Saturday. The nonprofit group converts tree debris into firewood. But HVAC contractor David Sanchez says getting your home winter ready means more than just checking your heat source. This too, don't forget, even though it's winter time, you still need to make sure that your filters are getting replaced. And make sure the cold air stays outside. See if there's any big gaps, and if there are, they need to caulk them up. Uh, you know, seal it up the best you can. Because any, any area where there's a gap is going to let air in and all your warm air that you got blown in your home is going to escape. Same thing with your doors. All steps to keep you and your loved ones safe and warm this week. In Dallas, I'm Stacia Wilson. Okay, here's a look at what you need to do tonight to protect your home and your family. Let those faucets drip. Open the cabinets under the sink to keep those pipes warm. If you have any plants, be sure to cover them, bring them inside if you can. And finally, you will want to have a fully charged phone, a flashlight, and a first aid kit handy. This 